Hey there guys, so uh, I am currently at Eaton Ranch just outside of Sheridan, Wyoming. I'm uh, here for my girlfriend's brother's wedding and uh, we actually just got one hell of a storm that passed through here but it gave me just enough time to be able to lay down a little bit of tech for you guys before I actually uh, go get gussied up for the wedding. Um, so here's where this comes from. Um, you guys have seen, I'm sure, this move right here. Uh, Eli and John and Arashi both play with it. It is a very interesting kind of plane bending move wherein you're switching uh, back and forth between diagonal planes going in either direction. And of course, when you get to the sides, you're momentarily switching the poi back vertical for just one moment so you can switch them in the diagonal direction that you want them to go, right? Well, as I was playing around with this the other day, it suddenly dawned on me that what this also is, is this is a kind of weave. Like, it's... Uh, it basically feels a little bit like, to me, like you're doing a three-beat weave and completely unwrapping your hands in between every stroke, right? Uh, if, if, if you go through it, there's a moment where the right hand goes on top, and then the left hand goes on top, right hand goes on top, left hand goes on top, right hand goes on top, left hand goes on top. And if you count the way it breaks down, which is, of course, we have a downbeat, we go diagonal, we have a downbeat, we go diagonal, it comes out to one, two, three downbeats, just like we would expect with a three-beat weave, right? Now, I started messing around with this back at Ignite in, uh, in Los Angeles, and specifically because I wanted to bring some insides into it. And uh, my kind of template was this right here, which I've heard sometimes referred to as a Knott Coleman or, or a buzzsaw weave or a crosser weave. I, I'm, any of the above terms will probably work for it. Um, and what I realized is, is that the pattern that you're doing when you're doing the Alien John and the Rashi pattern is such that you have um, essentially a triangle with diagonals that are poking off the side of it, right? Now, if instead of having the vertical over on the outside side of you, what if you had it on the crossed over side? In which case, um, what you're going to do is you're going to diagonal vertical, diagonal, vertical, diagonal, vertical, diagonal, vertical, like so. And this then becomes the result. Oops. And you'll note this still totally works for that uh, buzzsaw we've kind of feel. All you've done is you've added some plain bendy goodness to it. There we go. Yeah. So, um, when it comes to uh, all of your different weaves and everything, see if you can insert some uh, diagonal plane bendy stuff into it. You never know when you're going to find something interesting with it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, have yourselves a great week. Peace.